Hi, I'm Dr. Larissa Corder, and I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. One of the things I get most frequently asked about is heavy menstrual bleeding, or menorrhagia as we call it in the medical world. Now, menorrhagia is a lot more common than you think. Around one in three people suffer with it. But what is it and how do we define it? Well, medically speaking, we tend to say that if you bleed on average around 80 mils of blood throughout your period, that is classified as heavy bleeding. But then who's actually measuring or counting? So when I talk to people about what constitutes a heavy bleed, I tend to ask them how it's impacting on their life. So for example, are you someone who is having to plan their whole day around their period? Are you someone who has to avoid certain meetings or commitments because of your period? Are you leaking through your clothes or flooding? Are you having to use more than one piece of sanitary protection? Are you having to double up? Or are you having to change the sanitary protection more often than once an hour? If any of this rings true, then you could have a problem and it's really important to go and see your doctor about it. So many people tend to suffer in silence and just don't even realize it. In fact, in a recent survey conducted by Bayer, over 60% of women think they might be suffering with a heavy period, but yet exactly the same number also think that it's entirely normal. Meaning that around 40% never go and see their GP, never go and get any help and are potentially suffering in complete silence. Your period can affect you in so many different ways, from your relationship with yourself, to those around you, your ability to do your job, even do normal things, stuff that we take for granted, and anything ranging from your mental all the way through to your physical health. When Bayer looked at this in detail, they found that 95% of women admitted that their period had a significant impact on what we call activities of daily living. That is a huge number of women and a really big number who just aren't going to see their doctor or getting any help. The good news is, is that help is at hand and there are so many things that can be done, but it all starts off with recognizing that you might have a problem. If you're someone who thinks they might be suffering or have a friend or relative who might be suffering too, please make them aware and please go and see your GP. There's also a lot of help available through the NHS website, as well as myheavyperiod.co.uk, where you can take a really useful survey to help you understand if you're someone who's affected or not. Having a heavy period doesn't necessarily mean that there's something medically wrong, but it's really important to try and exclude certain causes simply because things can be done to help. Sometimes that involves taking specific medication or having certain surgery to help. But sometimes it's something as simple as changing lifestyle measures. So don't be afraid to go and see your doctor. You never know, it might just help to change your life.